All right, guys, today we are DRB Homes in Greensburg, Pennsylvania, in Westmoreland County, about a half hour to 45 minutes east of downtown Pittsburgh. Let's go ahead and check out DRB Homes' newest model, the Finch at Grandview Estates. All right, here we go. We're going to go into the front of this DRB Homes Finch floor plans, so the Grandview Estates, uh, 1,571 to 2,600 square feet, two to four beds, two to three baths, featuring a two car garage and the kitchen has an enormous, enormous aisle that you're going to want to going to want to see. Uh, so stick around towards the end when we hit the kitchen. It's a, an absolute gorgeous open concept. A lot bigger than what you would expect by looking at the outside of this home that is connected it does have a common wall with the uh, with the home next to it but it will be soundproof so you won't be hearing your neighbors so let's go ahead and step on inside and you're gonna be greeted right now we're at 3003 um, Aubrey in a grand view of states so as soon as you step in you're gonna see you have stairs that go up to the second floor which is an addition uh, so the standard is just going to be a one-story, one-level living. And you're going to see you have nine-foot ceilings, beautiful mirror on the left. That's a nice opening, nice uh, walk-in as soon as you get there. As soon as you open the door, you're not slammed in the face with, with another wall or anything. So you have some room there in the foyer. Uh, first bedroom is going to be on your right immediately as you walk in the door. And they do carry uh, carpet in the bedrooms and on the second floor. So as we step into this first bedroom, what you're gonna see is standard uh, six foot windows on the first floor of these homes. And they're gonna be five foot standard uh, windows on the second floor of, of the homes if you do the addition. You got a nice walk, or not walk-in closet, you got a nice closet right there with uh, double doors. And they're they're doing, for Grandview Estates, they're gonna be having two different two different floor plans here. It's gonna be the Finch model, which we're taking a look at right now. And they're also gonna have the Starling model. And the Starling model is gonna have three to five beds and two to three baths. Uh, but again, it's gonna have that two car garage. And that one's gonna be one to two stories as well. The second story is gonna be the addition. And what they're finding here at DRB, as we walk into the first full bath, you can see the difference in the flooring. You got ceramic tile in the bathrooms which is standard now not this um, color or certain uh, uh, ceramic tile that's going to be an upgrade that's you it's going to be a standard uh, white tile i believe is what they had said uh, so you're going to see the surround tub and shower and like i was saying with the starling um, i'm sorry with with both the models they seem to be getting the majority of their buyers are going to be having the addition of that second story which we'll go up to right now as we walk up the carpeted steps and as you reach the top now the second floor second story are going to be eight foot ceilings that's going to be standard and immediately on the right as i open this door here is going to be the furnace uh, like a utility closet right there so you have some storing as you can see they're, they're putting some of their doors in uh, while you're having a model home. A lot of model homes will do this. I mean, just less damage to the walls with people walking through and opening doors a little too quickly. So as I turn to the left, you're gonna see that there's a bedroom right here in front of me and nice big, again, five foot windows. And it's gonna be standard on the second floor. The whole second floor is, uh, I believe was carpeted as well. Really nice size rooms up here on the second floor. You can see if you have kids, it'd be great to have, you know, if they're around the same age or, or whatnot, they could easily share a room or you can make this just one huge bedroom up here. Um, I mean, it's definitely gonna hold a master, or I'm, I'm sorry, not a master, a, uh, a king size bed without an issue, or you could have, um, you know, a little play area for your kids and the walk-in closet is very generous in this home, especially for, for under, under 3,000 square feet, the, the closets in the home are, are very, very generous. And we'll head down the hallway here. Once we exit the, the bedroom, the first or the second bedroom, I would say. So the first thing on your left is gonna be, you'll see that there's a, another full bath up here serving the, uh, the second floor. So again, you would have a door right here, a man door. This particular model has the quartz countertops and what comes standard with our homes is gonna be a, uh, a granite in the kitchen and then a cultured marble, marble 
for all the bathrooms, but this is the upgraded model, obviously. So it's gonna have all the upgrades for it and top of the line, what they're offering for these models. Nice surround sound, bath and shower. I appreciate that high shower head up there for anyone that's a little bit taller. You know what I'm saying here. You know what I'm looking for when, when we have those short shower heads, man, is that a pain. So walk into the, uh, this will be the third bedroom of the home. Second one on the second floor. Very generous size and great light coming in these windows. So this is the middle of the day, and it's May, so we're getting a lot of sunshine today, but uh, the lights really aren't even needed right now. But we did turn them on uh, just for the tour here and, and for people coming in and viewing these homes. A really nice walk-in closet again. So each bedroom has a, has a pretty good size uh, closet. The two upstairs both have walk-in closets. It's about a six by six area and eight foot high on each in each room that's estimated so we'll head back downstairs and check out uh, where you would head in if you were going like say if this was just a regular house and not the model home you would see that there's a two-car garage so you got nice nice railing nice hardwood railing here coming down and again, they carried this flooring, the uh, LVP flooring throughout the first floor, except for the bedrooms. So as we make a lift, this man door here, which is now, it would be walking into your two car garage, which is standard for these, these homes in the Grandview Estates. They're just obviously the model home. So they're using that as their office area until they sell all the lots and then they'll convert that back into a two car garage for whoever buys this home. So there's plenty of space. You could put like a little closet almost right there coat closet and it's got a nice laundry i'm gonna skip the kitchen until last because i'm really really impressed with what they did with the kitchen and the uh the upgrades there nice size laundry room first floor which is fantastic and then they did the uh the ceramic tile for the flooring in here and right beside it you have a nice uh, little linen closet for the hallway and then turn around behind me we're off to the right is going to be another storage closet. It's going to have the, uh, the hot water tank and some more storage area underneath the stairs. So you can see they ran some PEX pipe throughout, which is fantastic to work with and easy to fix. Now, as you step into the master, so we're into the, uh, the primary suite, I'm sorry, step into the primary suite. This is one of two walk-in closets. I wanted to step all the way in so you could kind of get a feel for how long this closet, it's about 10 feet long, 10 feet deep by about three or four feet. So plenty of space uh, to hang closing, uh, cl hanging clothes in there. And then you have your own ensuite bathroom in here with a double bowl sink, nice size, generous mirror, great cabinetry. Obviously you got your, your toilet right there and then you'll have a nice uh, shower. Just wanted to get a close up of the, uh, this is the upgraded model. So they did the quartz countertops in, in both bathrooms and the kitchen uh, countertop and island that you're gonna see. So they did a really nice job with the shower. I really like the two niche feel right there. Glass hinge door, nice uh, faucet, um, nice uh, water faucets and, and whatnot. Shower heads that they used in here is a chrome or nickel plated, I think it was. And I like the tile work. They broke it up a little bit with the uh, large, probably what, one by two foot tiles or one by 18 inch tiles. And then they did a nice backsplash in the niche with that like glass tile feel. A uh, nice bench to sit on if you want to take a break while you're in there or uh, shave your legs or do whatever you got to do in there. But a nice bench to sit down and then it's a fiberglass bottom. And as I turn around, you'll see the other walk-in closet here on the right. Nice wide, deep closet. Plenty of room for hanging and I'm sure you could throw in uh, maybe a little small dresser or even do some kind of build-ins. Matter of fact, I, one, one of my clients goes to Ikea and they swear by the closet systems that Ikea can, can sell for you. They're really high grade, easy to build. So that's something to think about if you're building one of these homes and you don't like their maybe the wire mesh or whatever, you could skip that and just go pick up some stuff from Ikea and do your own thing, design how you want. It's a nice size master bedroom primary bedroom. I keep saying master, I apologize. It's a primary bedroom with a seating area right here. And on the other side, nice six foot two, uh, six foot uh, uh, windows. You got side by side, which is going to give you tons of light, tons of natural light coming in. 
so that's you know a king size bed so it gives you a little feel of how large the room is very roomy you don't feel claust claustrophobic uh, once you put in a larger bed in there so we'll head back out make a right down the hall past the laundry room you can see the uh, thermostat system right there on the right on the walls we walk past and into this beautiful open concept past the laundry room and into the kitchen area and just look how long this island is it's about 10 feet long that was my estimate when i stepped it off and it's going to be the quartz so normally in a standard feature that would come is a granite so this is the quartz and these are nine foot ceilings throughout the first floor you can have your dining area off to the side and your seating area up to the other and the fireplace is definitely an add-on but they did a beautiful job here with the fireplace especially putting the uh, the tv above it just about the same size as the actual fireplace itself looks really nice nice windows they got three windows on one side one above the farm sink over there you'll see in a second or two so you see plenty of seating uh plenty of area in there put pretty much almost any couch you want and just set it up kind of how you feel comfortable as we step outside onto the the uh, back patio, you got some favors here. So this is something they don't really do too often at DRB. Uh, they put in that stone wall and this isn't normal. So don't get too excited. Although I'm sure we could work something out um, if that's what something you wanted. You know, you have your features on the outside. You have your, your water uh, bib and you have some uh, electric run out there. You have some sconces on the outside. Now a fire pit, which is great. This would normally be a standard would be a 10 by 10 concrete slab with the option to build out uh, make it a little larger if you will step back inside and just love looking at this open concept the as you can see the cabinets go pretty much almost the whole way to the top of the ceiling they're about i'd say 10 to 12 inches short of the ceiling so you got almost eight feet eight feet of cabinetry um, in the kitchen area just a great look at this fireplace i really like the stone that they use around it nice mantle really classic touch classy touch and go crazy with it just made it simple and just clean looking you can see you got four seats here at the giant uh, oversized island which i'm a big fan of and if you can't do one large island like this two islands is even better so let's see you have the double bolt or double uh, oven over there now standard is a single oven so this is obviously upgraded and this is the gourmet package so you're going to have the stainless steel whirlpool appliances with this certain with this uh, particular package you got the farmhouse under sink mounted or under counter mounted sink and yeah, i really like the the herringbone backsplashes to see there it looks like the glass uh glass tile you got the soft clothes which i didn't close it quite <laughs> far enough for the soft clothes to get it but they are soft clothes counters or uh cabinetry a little closer look at that uh, herringbone backsplash which i'm a big fan of rather than just having just the brick uh, brick style which i like too but I i'm a fan of the herringbone this is just a nice shot of what you'd be looking at when you're at your sink you got a nice window over top uh, flanked by a cabinetry on each side and you have the, the uh, pantry right here in the corner which was nice it's kind of angled which gives you even more room inside so plenty of room in there in the pantry and now we take a look at this is a five burner uh, gas stove stove top right there and you have the microwave mounted up in the cabinetry and i really like this countertop it's nice just clean has a little bit of vein uh look into it look at it uh, you can see the five stove or five burner stove right here and another look at just a nice touch of the change in which is pretty pretty popular now with builders is having a different island color cabinetry than uh than just the the regular kitchen wall cabinets and base cabinets so i like the the two-tone look you see there's a little bit of green or a little bit of gray look on that quartz countertop just overall just nice clean open look and it's simple it's not crazy but it looks really really nice i think they did a great job great use of space in this one
All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that. I want to thank Aaliyah here at DRB Homes for allowing us to go through and tour this model home of the Finch. This one here, normally they're going to be a two bed, uh, two, two bed, one full bath. But this one is the model home, so they upgraded and did the uh, addition on top. So this is going to be the uh, four bedroom. So the addition of, of the top and a, the extra full bath as well. So if you're looking to buy, sell, relocate, invest in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, give me a call, text, email me. Let's go on the phone. Let's have a Zoom, have a conversation, how we can help you make your next move smooth. Till next time, guys, keep it real estate.